I'm calling it right now. Aquaman and The Flash are going to be the two favorites of the movie by worldwide viewers and by the fans of the franchise, period. Everyone knows that because of the controversy behind of Batman v Superman, Batman's going to be dulled down a lot. And that's because the controversial R rating, the brutality of that movie being given an R rating, the most pathetic R rating a movie could get. I'm still, I, I could go on a rant tangent about how shitty that rating for such a shitty excuse of an R rating movie could ever get. I'm sure none of that sentence made all that much sense, but I could give a shit because that's about as much sense as that movie made it or like all round. And then we have Wonder Woman, who is probably, sadly, and unfortunately, going to be that person who's going to be slotted into the background, like someone who people want to see more of, but because she's obviously got a movie coming out of her own, is she going to be given a little bit more depth than what we've been shown so far? And don't get me wrong, I'm not a hater. I want to see these movies do well. I want to see these movies done right, and I want to get more of everything. This is a movie franchise that I'm trying to give the benefit of the doubt, but at this point, I feel like I'm just being let down with every movie that comes out that's being done by DC. Or should I say Warner Brothers? I mean, when you take a step back and have a look, into the, the battlefield, essentially, of what this has become, what you're essentially looking at is two huge groups of fanboys. It is quite sad that that's just what it is. This is not an actual individual set of movies being made now. At least it's not for Marvel's side. Marvel is doing their own thing. DC is clearly not. They are trying to be Marvel. They are trying to be everything that everyone wants and not just going with something that will make, you know, their cinematic universe work. And this has proven, been proven time and time again with the movies that they've released to us. This is not about two cinematic universes battling it out. This is about good movies being made. And this is one of the reasons why I'm making this video right now. So that you, you fanboys out there, can chill the fuck out. Now, fortunately, people with logic are gonna be kicking back saying, how is this video in any way controversial? Well, it's because this is obviously going to piss off a lot of DC fanboys. Because what I'm saying right now is obviously not going to get through their heads. It's obviously going to trigger them in some way and it's gonna make them say, he said something bad about DC. What? People can be pissed off. DC fanboys can be pissed off as much as they like, but it's not going to change the fact that Marvel is working towards something. What is DC work working towards? Really? What is it that they're working towards? There are good things about the DC Cinematic Universe, but unfortunately, they haven't been in a consistent rollout. Unlike Marvel, who have come out with one good movie, then another good movie, then another good movie. And in some cases, the sequels to those movies were better. Marvel seems to have this method of creating these viciously fun, action-packed, funny, genuinely entertaining, from start to finish movies. Ant-Man is a prime example of this. The movie quite literally was entertaining from start to finish, when people had no faith in it. People had like none. People were like, how is Paul Rudd really gonna do it? Is he a superhero movie? How? Why? Is that a good fit? I don't know. Who really cares? Because by the by the time the movie came out, people were overly surprised. When Doctor Strange came out, people were like, dude, how did that work? Like really, we really didn't think that was gonna work, and then it did. They've taken their sweet ass time building this universe, you know? Like, th there's a big difference between the DC method and the Marvel method, if you could call it that. The biggest drive behind uh, the hype behind DC is the rabid fanboys, the star power, how they can cut a trailer together, and whether or not certain questions are going to be answered from a previous film or questions that we're, we're going to ask that relate back to the comics. 
is this going to be faithful to the comics? Is this going to be faithful to, you know, um, Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns? S questions like, you know, th from those, from the source material, essentially. And when we didn't even get the same story, like the intriguing story of why Batman was fighting Superman in the first place, in the like in the Dark Knight Returns, we got this really badly told story, and everyone was just... It's like we were in denial that the movie was not great. You know what I mean? If DC had the help that Marvel has had with the writers and directors and actors and, you know, the, the, the visionary people that they've had behind the scenes working on DC films, maybe one day we'll get Marvel vs. DC. You never know. And that movie could be amazing. That movie could be jizz your pants worthy. But are we going to get that? But the question is, do you want to see that happen? Because if you do, then you will support whatever the hell we get. And you will critically look at these movies as good or bad with specific aspects of it. Don't say that a movie is 100% amazing if it's not. Don't say that the movie's story is amazing if it's not. Because if you praise the wrong movies, we will continue to get shit films like we have been these days. We need to voice our opinions the right way. We need to voice our opinions so that we get what we want, essentially. You voicing your opinion in the right way will get you that perfect movie that you're aching to see in the way that you want to see it. If all DC fanboys say that every single DC movie is absolute gold, then whatever movies that they make, if they're shit, we're just gonna keep getting shit movies. Now, I know for a fact that no DC fanboys have made it all the way to the end of this video, so I'm gonna say this right now. Marvel hasn't done one thing, one crucial thing that is probably vital to any argument, and that is Marvel actually hasn't come up with a compelling structured villain away from the Winter Soldier and each other where I'm referencing Civil War where they're fighting with each other that was a very good movie and so was Winter Soldier and the villain Winter Soldier himself who was carried over into uh, Civil War that you know very 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 good using the most lackluster vocabulary ever that's the best way I can describe it Okay, I think I'm, I'm done with trying to trigger more people. <laughs> this is going to be a video of me literally just like bitching the whole thing. You know what? I really could care less though, because um, to be totally honest with you, that's pretty much how YouTube's working these days. It's pure controversy. If you can't get your points out in three to five minutes, you're not doing your job right. Well, you know what? I'm going to talk for 10 minutes. And if you guys actually survived to the end of it, then kudos to you. If you guys made it to the end of this video, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and please write in the comment section down below, I'm not fat, I'm big boned. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going with that one again, but you know what, it just seems to be, maybe I'll make it a running joke because I fucking love South Park, everyone else likes South Park, and people will just be severely confused if people keep writing the same comments over and over again uh, in every video, and they might be like, where, where did this actually start? And why is it continuing? What's happening right now? I love trolling people like that, it's just so much fun. I'm sure there's lots of other things that I could point out from both cinematic universes. But I, really, the goal was just to piss off a lot of people. So, if you guys have any other extra comments that you wanna that you wanna add to this, go nuts. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and until next time, peace. Blah, 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 blah.